We're battling with a lot of data um, collection or accumulation or use of data in our country. That means um, to, to be able to even identify the people in the country is still a challenge. We're doing BVN, NIM merging. We have so many things like that. Do you think that this is part of the reason why the government um, is a bit, you know, uh, they're banning the use of cryptocurrency because they cannot just, you know, catch the trail. You can say that's one of the concerns of the government. But like I mentioned earlier, the exchanges today collect a bit of um, information about people that use that platform before they open wallets for them. And this wallet is where each of them now basically store their crypto at. And, I, and I'm thinking that one of the ways that we in Nigeria could approach this is one, look at how we can harmonize our digital identity system, right? Mandate some specific onboarding items. It could be BVN numbers to be used to onboard people onto digital currency exchanges, for example. And then this gives you an opportunity to monitor or to be able to track who is doing what on the exchange. Because the criminals, to be honest, they don't, they don't use the exchanges. They just need the right software and the right hardware that can enable them connect to a network like the Bitcoin and they can operate anonymously. So the targets really shouldn't be the people using the exchanges, right? Because that's, that, those are the people that you can actually regulate. The ones that you can't regulate or control are those ones that are criminals. And whether the government bans crypto or doesn't ban crypto, the criminals would keep using it because nothing can stop you from using the hardware and the software to connect to the internet. I'm looking at, uh, you know, the government's policy right now, seemingly, and uh, well, for several people have said uh, sort of anti, it, it, this particular one might seem anti-people and uh, doesn't really make Nigeria look good from the uh, international perspective. What does this ban truly? What would it portend to the Nigerian economy? What are the challenges? What are the uh, uh, near future effects we begin to see? We should begin to see in the Nigerian economy on the downturn. I, I know that um, first and foremost, the, the dollar liquidity in Nigeria has been quite on the low side. So even so, uh, for instance, people who have invested in Nigeria have found it very hard to actually take back their investments out of the country. And I've, I've had reason, especially during the during the lockdown last year, I've had reason to see companies who had heavily invested in Nigeria, you know, trying to take back their funds and they couldn't get dollars to take it back. And they started to reach out to people who owned cryptocurrency to be able to do that. So I believe that the fact that they were, take, they were able to take out their funds using cryptocurrency would encourage them to invest more because they know okay, there is a channel through which they can easily take out their funds. But now that it's going to be more difficult for them to be able to take out funds, I don't see people wanting to invest in a country where when you invest and you want to take out your investment, it's going to be more difficult to take it out. So at that point, I, I think it, it's going to slow down foreign, foreign, I mean, forex inflow into the country. It's going to slow down investment into the country. So I think the government should be looking at regulating it and knowing who is doing, who is trading cryptocurrency. From an observation point of view, I have seen that youths are the highest perpetrators. Yes. I stand to be corrected Honestly, in yeah. terms of fraud, all this digital uh, currency, and some of them have used that trade in this electronic currency mm -hmm. as a means of income. So my question is, where do we go from here, knowing that the youths are the cause of some of these challenges we are facing? I trade with Bitcoins as well. Mm. The fact that people always want to look at it from the negative side of view. They mm. always forget the, the advantage. Positive. They forget, mm. they forget that the this, this, this actually helped a lot of people with employment. This actually yeah. put food on a lot of people's table, you know? Because, I mean, there is no work in Nigeria. This is, this is the digital age we're in right now. If we were in a more productive environment, I'm sure our youth would be more productive. You see what Nigerians are going outside Nigeria and what they can do mm. because of the kind of environment they find themselves. So, honestly, we should start with our country first.